doesn't matter where you line it up when you put it on here. We're just going to test to see what the holes are. Okay, now look at this. You just sew a few. Now notice how that's a really ugly stitch. See how that's really ugly? <clears throat> you don't want it to look like that when you're done. That's not pretty. So you're going to look for a stitch that looks pretty. So I'm going to tell you the heart one looks really cute. Um, number 69 is really cute. Um, number 55 might be cute. Let's try that one. Number 55. You want to test it on your paper first and see what it looks like. And you want to make sure your machine is working. Okay, now notice how I'm barely touching this. It's feeding itself pretty much. It's going to feed itself. Like you don't have to do very much. Okay. So when I look at this, do I like the way that looks? Do I like the way that looks? Eh, no, I really don't like it. So I'm actually gonna do, let's do number 40, is that 45 or 46? 45. Okay, pound 40, I think it's 46 actually. 45 is that one. So pound 46 is the hearts. I'm gonna show you what the hearts look like. We're gonna make sure they're working on this machine. Sometimes you'll have machines that some of the stitches aren't working. And so we want to test it to make sure that the stitch is actually working. Okay, so now it looks like this. See the cute little hearts? So that, that stitch is actually, it looks really good. figured out we are then going to make your sewing license with your monogram okay the sewing license the edge is going to be first so if you look at these samples you will notice that these are even from the edge they are exactly 5 8 inch from the edge okay that's what I'm looking for I want to see that there's a 5 8 inch seam allowance okay if you're too close to the edge that's not right if you're too far in that's not right it needs to be an even edge 5 8 from the edge so I'm going to show you how to do that you're gonna take this piece of paper. Please do not use these for practice. I have to cut them out or have my TA cut them out. When I run out, then I have to get more paper and get it cut out before the next class period. So I just don't like to waste them. So make sure you do all your test stitching on the test paper. Okay, you're gonna take the edge of this and you're going to line it up. If you guys get where you can see, you're gonna see this horizontal line going across the back. It's just a little horizontal line, okay? Then the other edge is gonna line up with the edge that is the 5 8 mark. Okay, so it looks like it looks like this. So there's an edge in the back, a 5 8 inch line in the back, and then there is 5 8 inch right there. Okay, so that's gonna line up like that. Okay, then I'm gonna put it down. Now on the 46 stitch, I am going to reset it because I want my stitch to start at the beginning. So I'm gonna push pound four six again. Okay, to make sure it's gonna it's starting at the beginning. Okay, hold this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, oh, I need to set this so that my needle's in the down position. Okay, and then I'm going to just sew the paper. I'm gonna sew right on the paper. Okay, now notice how I'm barely touching the paper, you guys. I'm barely touching it. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down. Now this is where you don't have to put it on half speed because it you can sew really fast and it's going to move really slow. Don't force it to move. Just let it feed itself. Okay, you don't want to rip the paper. So really, really fast. Okay, when, I get close to the, when I get close to the edge, I'm going to slow down. Okay, now when this, oh, see, I went way too fast and it went too far. So I'm actually going to go backwards to bring that back. Okay, this edge of this paper is going to line up with that horizontal line that's on, see that horizontal line right there? That horizontal line is going to line up with the edge of the paper. So I'm going to go back one more stitch. Okay, try not to go too far. That ruins my paper. See that, if that needle is in the down position and it is in the middle, then I should be able to pivot just fine. Now sometimes it's not in the middle, and so I go to pivot, and the and it's too short 
So, um, it or it will be too short or too long. If that's the case, then I'm gonna bring my needle up and then I'm going to turn it and pivot, okay? On these embroidery stitches, that's what you have to do. It's different than a straight stitch, okay? Um, and then the stitches in the corner are always gonna look just a little weird. So I'm gonna go forward like this. Notice how I'm barely touching it. The only thing I'm doing is making sure that it stays lined up with that line. Okay, I'm gonna slow down when I get to the end. Okay, I want this edge right here to be lined up with that horizontal line on the bottom. Okay, get really close. So you can see, see the horizontal line that's going to the bottom? Okay, I want that to be lined up with that. Okay, now I, this is not in the middle, so I'm actually gonna bring the needle up and I'm going to turn it so that it is centered in the corner again. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this one. This is where you guys that wanna go fast, this is your chance to go fast. Just don't get your fingers in the way. That's the most common injury, so. Did you sew yours? No, I just oh. Oh, it's worse when you sew it. It goes into the bone sometimes. Oh. Yeah. So get, keep your fingers away from the needle. Okay, and then slow down when you get to that edge. Okay, right there, my needle is right in the middle and I'm stopped right at the line, so I should be able to do a normal pivot. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish. Okay, and then when that line is lined up, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna bring my needle up by pushing that in. The needle will come up and then I'm done. Okay, now my edge is, is, see the hearts? Okay, you guys can see the hearts. These are my stencil, there's different fonts that you can use and you're going to put it onto your sewing license so it's gonna look like this. So this is a monogram that I use I put an H on it. What we wanna do is actually put the monogram onto the back so that we don't see the line. So this one shows the line. This time we're gonna do it without the line, so you can't see the line. So I'm gonna choose my, my letter H from this one, and I'm going to turn it. If it's, if it's not a universal letter, then I need to turn it so it's upside down. Like if it's an E, I'm gonna turn it upside down and trace it from the back on the opposite side so that it will show up as an E. And let's see, yeah, let's do an E. I'm just gonna do an E just for the sake of, so you can see the backwardness of it. Okay, so I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna trace this letter onto the back. my E on the back, so after, and it's backwards, but after I stitch it, I'm going to see it on the front was stitched. Okay. This one, you guys, I did a monogram on the front, and I actually, you can see the pen mark, but what I don't like about this is seeing the pen mark. So I decided that we're actually going to flip it over to the back, and we're going to put it, put the monogram, so you're going to flip your letter upside down so that it goes on and you're tracing it backwards. After we stitch it, it is going to come on the front and it's gonna be forward, but you're only gonna see holes. You're not gonna see the lines, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna stitch it from the back, but when I'm finished, I'm gonna see the letter E on the front. Um, I would highly recommend you don't do very curvy letters unless you're really good, okay? Advanced people, do cur you can do more curve, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna start right at one of the points. I'm gonna look inside the window and see the beginning of my line right there. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm going to shorten my stitch. And I'm gonna change the length by pushing this button down to a one and a half. Shortening the stitch just helps you hit the line more accurately. Okay, so then I'm going to stitch, I'm just going to stitch the letter. 
Okay, this is where you're going to want to go slow so you can put your half speed on. Okay, now there is a little curve in this one. Don't use curves unless you feel like you can handle them. Okay, I'm going to feed the curve and watch through my windshield and try to make sure I'm hitting the line, but also try to feed that line in. See how I'm not even perfectly on the line because curves are really hard to hit. Yep. Okay, curves are really hard to hit. This On the curve, you have to watch the needle closer where it's hitting. Just do your best. If you mess it up, you guys can't have another one. You're going to do your best to hit it. This curve is really hard. Okay, now right there, I'm going to just pivot back. I'm gonna, that's the hardest part right there. Now remember, if you don't hit it perfectly, the line's not going to show on the front. So don't worry too much about not hitting it perfectly. Just try to make it look good. Okay, and then get to the corner, and then we'll pivot. This is why we get embroidery machines to do our letters. Okay. Okay, watch through the windshield really close and make sure you're hitting the lines. Now notice how I'm not hitting the line exactly. <laughs> so this one's a really hard one. I would do one with less curve in it if you can. I thought I would be brave and try it with a lot of curve, but it's still hard. Okay, and then, okay, this is why I don't want you to just throw them away if you get off the line a little bit, because obviously it's not that easy to always hit the line. The straight lines are easy to hit, but the curved lines are a lot harder to hit. Okay, so right there, you don't want to see the line, so remember, do it backwards on the back, and then you're going to see it from the front. Then, um, then you're going to take your pen, you're going to draw a line, you're going to write your name on this line, your first and last name, okay, and then you're going to write sewing, sewing license, and then you're going to put a line there, and I'm going to take my stamper and stamp it so it will look like this, and that's it.